What's up everybody, it's your boy Mew here for breakfast. Um, I had, I had three packets of oatmeal and a banana and a chicken finger and, sorry, let me start over, let me start over. I had three packets of oatmeal and an egg, hard boiled egg and a banana and a chicken finger and some honey and that was good. Uh, for lunch I had quinoa salad, for dinner I had mac and cheese. Um, I woke up at 4.50 today. That's a lie, I woke up at 5.12 today. Um, and then I, what? Um, oh, I, yeah. <laughs> uh, I woke up at 5.12 and you know, I got ready, I did my thing, I had breakfast. Um, and I was about to leave and then I noticed uh, there was a message from my professor, my English professor, who, you know, I have to leave at 7 a.m. to arrive at his class at 9 a.m. And uh, you know, I looked at his thing and he said, sorry everyone. My sickness has developed. We had class, you know, on Tuesday, uh, but you know, apparently his sickness has developed and he had to cancel class today, which sucks. Um, but it did mean I was able to, uh, instead of leaving at seven, I could have, I, uh, I left at 12 and that was nice. So, you know, I just hung out, did my um, business homework, did my, I didn't do my math homework because we weren't done with math for the week, now we are, so now my, all my math homework's done, but, um, yeah, I did my business homework and, um, yeah, then I, uh, you know, left at noon. Uh, I did my math class and then I went home. <laughs> uh, but here's the crazy thing. Um, when I was on my way home from business class, uh, basically I take the train from college to downtown and then I take the bus from downtown to where I live. And I walk from there. Um, and so I had just finished taking, uh, the train all the way from college to downtown, and uh, I was just getting out when I saw someone that I thought I recognized, right? And I was like, no way, no way it's him. No way it's that guy, right? I'm gonna call, I'll know if he, I'll know if he wants his name to be used. Call him, um, uh, should I do something funny or should I? Um, I'll call him Jim, I'll call him, no, I'll call him John. Um, and so, yeah, I was like, is that John? No shot. No shot, it's John. Um, and I was like, man, that's, we that's weird. That guy looks just like him. I was looking at him and I thought about it some more and I was about to leave and then I looked back at him and I was like, that's John. Um, and I was thinking about it and, you know, for context, um, John is someone I knew back in ninth grade, back when he was in 11th grade. He ended up graduating during COVID, which is crazy. Class of 2020, that sucks. And I thought, man, I remember hearing that class of 2023 when I was in elementary school and I was like, man, I wish I could be class of 2020. That's such a cool year to graduate. Little did I know, right? But anyway, class of 2020, that's crazy. And um, yeah, uh, I started playing trumpet in eighth grade in mariachi band. Uh, and then I started playing uh, jazz uh, trumpet uh, ninth grade. And when I was in ninth grade, the really crazy good trumpet, first chair, first chair, um, was this 11th grader, and his name was John. He was, he was a cool guy. He was cool. Um, and, you know, uh, he was really good at the trumpet. He was also very good at the piano. And, uh, you know, uh, it was cool. And I just hadn't seen him since, uh, school got canceled for COVID. And, um, Anyway, um, by the way, you can see what I looked like when I knew Eli. I, I said his name, whoops, when I knew uh, John. Uh, I, you know, I don't want to re-record this. And who watches these videos and who, that's such a common name. Who cares? Uh, when I knew John, uh, you, you can see what I looked like when I knew him back if, when, when you look at my 2020 videos. Um, so early 2020 is what I looked like when I knew him. And so I, I walked up to him. And I said, um, I am, I am Leo Dean from a jazz band, uh, when you were a junior. He said, wow. First thing he said, he said, wow, you look so different. And I said, yeah, I suppose. Um, and you know, it, it's kind of a blur looking back at it. Um, it happened like four hours ago and I was across the city. So it, it's hard to remember, right? And I've already done all these things throughout the day. Um, but. He was like, wow, you look so different. And I was like, yeah, yeah, I guess so. And um, 
she was like, well, what have, what have you been doing? I'm like, well, I'm going to this community college and, um, you know, I'm doing IT, um, studying IT. Um, he was like, man, that's cool. And I said, well, what are you doing? What are you doing? He said, oh, I'm going to um, a very, uh, it's, a, it's a prestigious university that is here in Seattle. <laughs> you, you could probably guess what it is. But um, he was like, oh, I'm going to this uh, nice university in Seattle. And I was like, oh, wow, uh, that's cool. And I'm like, what are you majoring in? And he's like, oh, I'm doing psychology. I was like, cool. Um, and then, uh, you know, he ended up, even though he was going to the train station, um, you know, following me up. And uh, he was like, oh, and I took a photo with him down there as well. But he followed me up the escalator, and we were just talking. And I was like, um, you know, what have you been doing? Stuff like that. I, can, I don't think I actually asked him that. But he asked if I was still doing the daily videos. He said, are you still uploading daily to YouTube? And I said, yeah. Um, and that was weird to think about. It's weird that I was doing that when I knew him when I was a freshman. It's weird that I'm a freshman in college now. <sighs> That's scary. I'm, I'm, I'm so old, guys. Um, he said, yeah, are you, are you still doing the daily videos? And I was like, yeah. Um, he's like, man. So he asked how my friend was doing. I said, my friend's doing well. He's also um, going to the prestigious university in Seattle. And he's studying jazz. And he's like, oh, that's really cool. And I was like, he's like, man, well, what are you doing now? I'm like, I'm going to catch the H line. He's like, okay. So I get up there and the H line's right there. So I have to run away. I have to, I have to run. I have to run and grab. I have to grab the bus. Um, so I run away from him uh, and I get the bus. Uh, but it was really weird seeing him because I hadn't seen him since I was a freshman and he was a junior and now he's graduating college. That's crazy to me. Um, it's just astonishing. It's it's weird. I never thought I would see him again, and I kind of think about him regularly. Like at least once every couple of months, I think about him, and I'm like, oh, that that was a person I knew. You know, me. You know, when you think about people like that, and you like wonder where they are now. Um, that happened to me, and I wonder where that person was now, and now I know where that person is now, and he was there today, um, which is weird. I do remember when I got off the train, I ran and got up the escalator, and then I saw John, and I really feel like. If I hadn't ran off that train, it would have been like, I would have been like 30 feet away from him and I would have never known the whole time. Like that would have been like the closest he's physically been to me. And I would have had no idea. He would have been like 30 feet away. We would have just passed each other. We had no idea either one of us was there. Anyway, back when I knew John, he was taller than me and now I'm taller than him, which I think is a little funny. Um, and yeah, that, that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, I do look way different from when I did three years ago. Actually, I don't expect you guys to look, so I'll just I'll just open up a video of mine from three years ago. Here's a pretty good video of how I looked. Look at that. That's crazy. Why is it so blurry? Unblur your camera, dude. Does it just stay blurry? Oh, it was so good at the beginning. Oh man, I think it's blurry. Oh well, yeah, that's how I looked only three years ago, which is, which is unusual. You know, you start, you start caring about your health and you look so different. Take care of yourselves, guys. Um, you know, I, you know, I, I look back at myself from a few years ago and I was a little chubby and I, you know, I, I didn't floss and it's just so scary. It, you know, it's so scary how bad habits can build up and, you know, if I had kept up and I didn't like floss and that's like a silly, like seems like an extraneous, like silly example. But if I hadn't flossed, that would have cost me tens of thousands of dollars in, you know, um, like dental bills, like later in life. And I'm happy I'm flossing now at 18, but God, if I, I've, if I had never gotten the, into the flossing habit, like it would have been like Jover for me. Like actually, not only that, but like, man, I'm happy I started doing regular exercise. Um, I started having these really bad cramps in my legs. I would watch shows with my mom and 
I eat snacks and stuff. Because, you you know, you watch a show and you eat a snack. I would start getting these horrible cramps in my legs and they were scary. Uh, whenever I'd get up and they would hurt so bad. And I decided, you know, I should, I should, we have this treadmill. I should really start walking on it. And, you know, then I, then I lost what well, used to be 210 on a bad day. So uh, that's 20, 190, 80, 70, 60. So I lost, then I lost 50 pounds, which is weird to think about that. It's, um, it's weird to think about something, um, like that you hear in an ad, like a weight loss ad. Uh, but then you say that you lost 50 pounds and that's the truth. And that's, um, just a really weird thing to think about that. I was 50 pounds heavier. Um, it's strange. Um, but yeah, you know, take care of yourselves, guys. Um, yeah, it's crazy that I saw, uh, John, uh, and yeah. All right. See you, dude.